Hello boys and girls, welcome to Benchart, I'm for Classic, and for today what I do have in it is Biomutant, a game developed by Experiment 101, which is essentially people from Avalanche Studios, from Just Cause. And, well, for the settings I will be using 720p low settings with 50% of resolution scaling, and also Depths of Field disabled, which is uh, available on the camera options you can disable through there. So with 50% of resolution scaling using low settings, I got a nice average of 38 frames per second and a 1% low of 24, with 18% of the frames being lower than 30 frames per second. Not bad, but not good. 75% of resolution scaling provides a 32 FPS average with a 1% low of 21, and 720p, well, the average starts to be under 30 frames per second, so I can't recommend. So looking to the requirements, this guy specified that you need a GTX 960, and the MX 130, it is pretty much equivalent to a GT 940 MX 2GB GDDR, GDDR5. So we are clearly below the minimum specs in here, and well, the game it is running. Although, this game it is very dynamic on its performance, which is quite unfortunate in my opinion. So in these areas, for example, I'm having 30 to 40 frames per second. There are even areas where I get 50. So it looks that the GPU is getting pretty well, right? Yeah, but by the end of this video, you will have a different opinion, since I get into a kind of a mini boss fight, which I die because I'm a noob, but uh, I get into that boss fight and frame rates clearly go under 30 frames per second throughout the majority of the fight, which is exactly where you need the most frame rate, it is where the game will drop, uh, will drop it more. So it's very very dynamic and this game features a dynamic resolution scaling which I think it is a very, very good thing that you should use in this game. So the only thing you need to do is to lock the game to 30 frames per second and enable dynamic resolution scaling. So what we will do it is to lock your game at 30 frames per second. And essentially on the parts that are less demanding, you get better resolution scaling. And in boss fights, for example, you get worse quality. But at least you still get a consistent frame rate. This is if the option did work because it is actually it isn't actually working what it does by this uh, at the moment of this video i mean what is really happening with it is just applying a static resolution scaling of the minimum that it can without breaking the visuals that's that it's not adjusting um in regards to the GP usage that you are having. So it's not really a dynamic resolution scaling, or it isn't really working as it should. So I'm hoping that in the future, a patch might fix this. I really hope so, because it, if it fixes, I think you should really consider to use it because it should solve the majority of the graphics clarity as well as the low frame rates in the biggest fights all right so talking a little bit about the game well i didn't play that much and the idea that i have about this game is that the visuals are just just simply stunning uh, the art department it is amazing in that regard sounds wise not entirely great though and uh, the way that the story is being told, it is through a narrator, so clearly this is a budget decision, a smart one, but a budget decision, since they don't need to hire tons and tons of voice actors to perform the voices of the characters, no, you just have a single actor that talks and translates, alright, uh, all the characters, so yeah, it's a wise decision if you ask me, a very smart one indeed, and I don't think that this is an issue, all right, but clearly this was uh, done because of the budget. Now regarding gameplay, it seems like these guys picked up every single game that she knew that they knew since uh, Devil May Cry to many other fighting games and Max, even Max Payne. All right, so it seems like they grabbed everything up and put it inside a single game. Well, theoretically, it sounds great, right? But that's not really the case. Combat system feels a little bit weird uh, because of that same reason. It seems that it lacks a little bit of feedback uh, because of that. There is no lock on on targets, which I think it's pretty unfortunate in my opinion because it makes it difficult to, to fight. I mean, we have been playing games like Dark Souls where we lock to enemies for about a decade, and now comes this game which you don't lock to any specific enemy and makes very hard to nail. 
the point where you want to to attack the player. So it's kind of a tough thing, if you ask me. And there is a little bit of lack of feedback on the fights. The quest system and the story and the lore behind of it, it's yeah. it's yeah. generic at best. But I think that the game still it is pretty good. I think some people will enjoy the game. We have been having generic games for a long long time since the latest assassin's creed kill me for saying this but it's true assassin's creed Valhalla is generic all the quests pretty much are generic you can say otherwise it's fine it's your opinion but in my personal opinion this is like biomutant it, it is like any open world right there all right it is generic all the open worlds out there have been in, have been generic lately. Have been doing more of the same, more of the same quest. Just go there and kill that guy. Just go there and collect that um, that thing. Well, by a mutant, it is no different. And the motivations behind it, they are not even good enough. All right. So that's probably why the critics have been hammering this game so hard, because despite you do pretty much all the tasks that that you are supposed to do in an open world game, the motivations behind them are just not great and the combat system could be better that's true but i don't think that is essentially a bad game and i'm pretty sure that a lot of people will love the game anyway um i'm not into it i'm honest but certainly this is not as bad game as the critics are saying and again i'm pretty sure a lot of people will love this game anyway so that's it guys hope you did enjoy the the video so far hope you keep enjoying the rest of the boss fight which we went bad thank you a lot for watching and i do hope to see you soon goodbye